In this video, we're going to talk about the Violator, the untold origin of Spawn's most notorious demon. Alrighty then, this is a comic book review of The Violator, issue number one, the origin we've all been looking for. Brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. And we begin this issue with The Violator kind of breaking the fourth wall, talking about, oh, I didn't see you there, you guys are good looking. Don't just stand there, you imbecile. We both know why you're here. Yeah, we want to know where you came from and how you came about it. So he's going to get into that. So we go into this monologue, the beginning, the beginning. Actually, everyone knows the story as he's talking about the Bible, the book of Genesis, how God created the heavens and the earth. So here he's talking about the end of the beginning, heaven in BH. And what does BH stands for? It stands for before humans. All right. It was quite the time of hope, of devotion, one of creation. All these are angels. And like many great society, we all had our purpose to help enact the plans of him, the creator. God, that was their grand design. Shape the infinite stuff of the cosmos and make light out of darkness. And this guy was paired with Gloriana. That was before he was a violator. His name is Basia. So Gloriana asked, why are they working so hard? What's the urgency? Like, what is he up to? And he's like, I do not consider the motives of the creator. I am a humble servant working to do his bidding because she asked him, why are you working so hard? What's the urgency? So she's like, okay, you're giving me that answer, but I don't quite believe you. So Gloriana leaves. She goes back to this guy and then guy tells her, hey, Gloriana, how you doing? Back so soon. The cherubim will think of you and are merging if you're not careful, Gloriana. Oh, I am to merge with Basio. I don't know what the word merge means, but it's not the kind of merging that we do here on Earth. We do that different kind of merging, you know, that key sweat kind of merging. That, get, anyways, you get the point I'm talking about. But it's the kind of merging that deemed good in the eyes of the Creator, in the eyes of God, whatever that merging means, at least in the context of the story. So this guy's like, really, then you seem to be missing Basia. So Basia goes to see Lucifer and calls him Morningstar. Gloriana suspects something and I am not a good liar. Lucifer is like, oh, we are all good liars, Basio. And calm thyself. All is happening as it should. Well, what about if the creator finds out? The creator? Come with me. The forge of the creation will keep our plans out of his thoughts. The monument to himself for more than consume his attentions. The creator has done so much, says Basio. He gave us life. He gave us purpose. Why are we even doing this? Because the creator is a liar. Lucifer, you blaspheme. That's what Bazio tells him. And Lucifer's like, look, you, my dear Bazio, you refuse to see what is happening in front of you. Then allow me to show you what's happening in front of you right now. You doubt me. I was the prime creation of his. If you will not voluntarily see the truth, then allow me to show you. So look, Bazio, he does his thing and his mind gets warped. Look, Bazio. You see what I saw? The creator deep in contemplation, so deep that his once favored went unnoticed. I snuck closer to see what was consuming the creator's attentions. And what I saw was betrayal. God creating Adam in the book of Genesis. That was Adam right there. And then I realized something that we were just pawns. Do you see now? And Basio's like, it cannot be. The creator is using us to make our own replacements. But why? Why would he do that? Because the creator needs followers. He needs blind worshipers. He needs a hierarchy that will be always beneath him, that he can always be on top of. The creator cares not for you, nor I. Well, Basio's like, dude, can we do anything? Oh, there is a time and a place for discuss with others. Others, says Basio? But this is now not the time or the place. We will reconvene later, all right? So do your thing, and then we'll get back to it. So Basio does this thing, and Gloriana's like, okay, Basio, what are you up to? What, is Morningstar trying to tempt you? No, no, don't worry about it, girl. I was just jesting you. You seem trouble, says homegirl. And Lucifer's like, look, girl, he's exhausted as we all are, as is apparently his tongue. Hmm, okay. Farewell, Morningstar. And Basio's like, I have to go. So Basio flies away and he thinks to himself, if what Lucifer says is true, if the creator only sees us as tiny cogs in his greater machine, we mean nothing to him, less than nothing. A curse upon Lucifer for planting such thoughts, such nonsense in my mind. But would nonsense rattle me to my very core like this? Wouldn't I be thinking of flaws in the words and how it all makes sense? Should I be thinking about that? but I am lost. So Gloriana comes up behind him and creeps so they have a moment. And before they can get romantic, 
But Loriana's like, well, look, before we can do our thing, before we can give a little kissy kissy and maybe some merging going on, tell me anything. What's on your head? And Basia tells her, have you ever doubted the creator? And that is another blaspheme that you just can't say. Why would you say such a thing? The creator is everything. Look around us. What makes you question him? And Basia's like, sorry, I did not mean to upset you. I didn't know what I was thinking. A moment of doubt or perhaps weakness. Let us forget that I even asked. And Gloriana's like, it was that damn Lucifer, wasn't it? This sort of thing stinks of him. And now he was sharing his blasphemies openly? Listen to me, Basil. Sever ties with them. No good will come of it. Find your faith in the creator once more. And Basil's like, if I cannot, then I, Basil, am the least of your worries. So they go back to creating. And you know, like in the book of Genesis in the Bible, everything is good in God's eyes. And everything is good. So they create. And he should be exhilarated by all this creation. The wonder of taking the nothing in space and making it part of something. Something he's not even sure to believe in anymore. So this other angel tells Basio, hey, this is before you turn violet or all night. You feeling all right? You looking kind of sick. I appreciate your concern, brother, says Basio. But how can he tell him the truth after Gloriana's reaction? So he has to lie to him and tells him, I'm fine. An angel committing sin. Look at that. This is a burden for him to bear alone. So Gloriana's like, isn't this glorious? We are witnessing. No, we are taking part in the great making, building the earth. Bask in the glory of our creator. Basil, what in the nothing space could distract you from all this? And Basil's like, I ain't got no answer. I don't know what to tell you. Well, come with me, says Gloriana. Your distractions are becoming a problem. Get Lucifer's poison words out of your head. Enough is enough. But is asking for love or respect or acknowledgement a bad thing, says Basil? Hey, I kind of hear him on that. Is gratitude not a mutual act? Hush! You had best hope. I am the only one who heard that. Who heard you utter that? We cannot let the creator hear that. And love, the creator is love. And to toil his vision is how we show hard devotion by exercising that. But, Bazia, you will not speak of this to me no more. And Bazia starts thinking, he starts questioning things like, then who created the creator? What, says Gloriana? Do you think it's just some kind of jest, some game of logic? I need some time apart from you. I do not dare let Lucifer's madness madness pass from you into me i ain't got time for that and come on now you're an angel now you should know that god is the omega and the alpha the beginning and the end that's in the book of john i believe but anyways gabriella flies away and tells him i'll pray for you and Basil's was like those words do not come for me as they once did so now we see this nothingness this pitch blackness and this opening opens up and Basil gets surprised because it's samael and he gets greeted by him well not really but he was like, you better hope you were not followed. We got our meeting. And Basio's like, I took every precaution. Excellent. We've been waiting for you. But there's something not quite right about you, Basio. And he flies away. In his darkness, he thinks he can turn away. And he could go back to the creator, go back to God and have mercy on him. But you know what? There's no turning back now. So he asked Gloriana to forgive him because Lucifer tells him, you are very important to the cause and Basio's pride is like, okay, I gotta go where I gotta go. So Lucifer is like, thank you my friends for coming here today. We all know the risk, but we are here. We stand on the precipice. We can fly about it or we can sink into the abyss. Stop speaking in riddles, says the angel. We need a plan, not your stupid metaphors. Oh, okay, well come on now, let's, let's go into it. So he goes into it and Lucifer is like, oh, I have a plan, a very good one at that but in due time. And the angels are like, I knew this was foolish. The creator knows everything and sees everything. That is what the creator wants us to believe. That way we will never be anything they do or make us do. And how can we be so certain that the creator knows everything the other angel asks? And Lucifer's like, because if the creator heard it all, I would have been erased from existence a long time ago. So the plan, Morningstar, speak it now or we are leaving. Is it painful to be so humorless? I mean, this was your discovery, Basio, so maybe you should be the one to talk about it. So Basio explains, yes, you know, the act of creation creates byproducts, waste, detritus, kind of like heavenly debris, if you want to call it that, however you want to describe it. But this discarding creation energy is deceptive, and he takes this symbiote. It looks blackened and dead, but inside it deems with power and possibility. Show them what you show them what you have shown me, dear Basio, says Lucifer. So he takes the symbiote, he opens it, he feels his pulse growing, it merges with him, kind of like an angel spawn. You see the eyes go green, necroplasm, and it's glorious. Look at that. 
spawn symbiote from the beginning. So he tells her that the creator's detritus is truly miraculous. Basil, exquisite. Now, my turn. So now the other angels try on this symbiote like it's a symbiote dressing room, you know? It's intoxicating. It's powerful. It's freedom. It's power. And they all chant Lucifer. But Basil in the back is like, okay, something ain't right. What have I done? What have I done? So Gloriana is like, Basil, why so solemn? It's another beautiful day of creating. Yes, it is, says Basil. Well, I hope you have dealt with what we discussed before because I ain't got time for that. We got to merge, all right? And Basil's like, well, I did deal with what we were talking about, but not in the way you believe I did. Good. I hope this change is permanent, says Gloriana. Me too, says Basio, but they don't mean it like that. So they kind of spar with each other, getting the fit, getting the feel for the new symbiote. And this angel gets injured, but Basio teaches him that the that the thing is powerful because it can heal him and it's more powerful than they know. So Basio's like, okay, well, look, what have I done? It's resisting me. And when he goes and talks to Gloriana again, this thing takes control and resists him. But he can't control it no more. It's reacting on his own. He lifts his Gloriana up and releases her to the ground. And he doesn't know how to control it. So he apologized to her like, I'm so sorry. And Gloriana was like, what was that? Is that Lucifer's doing? No, says Basio. I did this freely and on my own. I never meant to hurt you. You must know that, Gloriana. And he flies away because he just can't deal with it. So the other guy that was trying to throw his little angel parking lot pimping on her was like, did you get that? Did you get a little piece of that? <laughs> yes, I did. Give it to me. Give it to me. So this other guy, the one that was trying to merge with Gloriana, if you want to call it that, he says Basio has always been easily swayed. He may believe Lucifer's honey lies, but this creation stuff, this will lead us right to that nest of the traitor. It's happening. There's no changing plans for better or for worse. Lucifer has a formidable army. Now Lucifer's like, yes, my children are ready. It's time for victory. It is time for for war angels and this symbiote is going at it and just like that everything has changed forever creation was a messy process but destruction destruction was chaos unchained all the anger all the rage the bloodlust on both sides did basio causes did, the, did this bring the death of paradise is he the evil one? Oh, gloriana seems to think so i warned you and yet you chose lucifer because she had that sample from that heavenly symbiote that the debris or whatever you want to call it and she was able to track him down and she was able to do her work you choose Lucifer over the creator, over me. And Basio's like, I have no defense. And Gloriana's like, then you leave me no choice. And Basio's like, I understand. Well, you make me do this. I take no pleasure in ending you, Basio. But maybe she does. Actually, I kind of give her the benefit of the doubt. Maybe she didn't. But as the war rages on, he fell. All this carnage was but a spark, you know? Who ignited an inferno? Who is now alone? used by both sides wanted by neither abandoned by fate his sins envelop him the pain is exquisite is it really and look at him he's like it hurts so good yet did he deserve it all as his previous existence melts away as his blood boils and his flesh melts one thought echoes through his mind he did this and he embraces the agony as he falls and as he falls and he gets all that flesh just burnt off of him and we get that mushroom flame effect right there. Yet he is denied the peace of death, burned, twisted, his folly made flesh, Basil's dead but he is reborn, loyal to none but himself. He is loyal because he is now the violator. And that is the end of the Violator, the untold origins of Spawn's most notorious demon, Violator, issue number one. What you guys think of the comic book? Comment below, let me know. And if you like this comic book, yo, I recommend you cop it just for your own personal collection because it is definitely worth having and worth adding to your comic book collection. Also, this video is sponsored by coffee. So if you'd like to buy a boy a cup of coffee, link in description or donate to the super thanks. But the greatest compliment you guys can do is by liking this video and subscribing to Rated Comics YouTube. YouTube channel. Thank you again for watching. Until next time.